Patrick. Hello. Right. Welcome back. Um, fairly new territory for me, this. A review of a new ZX Spectrum book. There are many um, books um, over the last few years uh, dedicated to the Spectrum. Um, I don't know what any of them are like. I've ne this is the first one I've ever read. Um, it's not that I've got anything against books um, about the subject at all. It's just I've never, ever got round to um, reading one of them. So I'm coming into this um, with a, a, a sort of unbiased opinion. I've got nothing to compare it against. The book is A Guide to ZX Spectrum Games 1982 to 1984, and it's written by Sean McClure and Hilary Wells. Now, Sean is a, a veteran graphic artist um, from way back in the day, worked on titles such as Narc and Rodland, but also um, worked on the actual soccer series for um, Gremlin late in uh, later times and left the industry itself in uh, 2012. But he's put together, this is his second book. The first one is uh, Video Game Development, The Rock and Roll Years, which is uh, available to purchase as well. And Sean has kindly sent me a pre-release copy of the book and a few other people as well um, to have a look through it, flick through it and see what uh, our impressions of it are. There's the man himself. Uh, the look on his face says, buy my book or I am going to come around your house and kick your head in. Not really. Sean is uh, a very, very nice bloke. He's been uh, very helpful and um, etc. through uh, email um, exchanges that we've had. And so let's get into it. Now, <coughs> there are 200 reviews in this book it's fairly hefty <coughs> it comes in at um, just under 600 pages in length about 560 in total and there's 200 reviews in it like i say and they're all bite-sized they're all just a couple of pages long and they're subjective reviews they're sean and hillary's um basically they've picked some games out they've played them and they give uh, a very brief um opinion and overview uh, of them and it's really 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 uh, nice and it's interspersed with several developer interviews now you'll see a couple of um, previews of those um, within uh, this video um, but i'm not going to go and spout off the whole list of um, developers that are in are included um, i'm going to leave that um, for you to find out for yourselves as and when you uh, choose to purchase the book now um, you'll see that um, the book is in black and white the pictures are in black and white don't worry about that because there is going to be a color version available as well and um, at the end of the video, there's also an option to um, purchase an electronic um, version, which I'll tell you about, which is in colour. Um, the good thing about the book is it includes all the classics, some of the ultimate titles, things like Ant Attack, um, Underworld, etc., The Pyramid. But also, the great thing about the Spectrum game is how many, sorry, the Spectrum scene is how many games there were. And there's a load of games in here that I've never ever seen or played before, which that's what the good thing that the book does is. It's opening uh, my eyes to some titles that I've never played and it's piqued my interest. Now, the period in question, 1982 to 1984, the sort of start of the Spectrum's um, classic era, if you like, some absolutely wonderful titles were there and most of them are included in the book. Okay, so let's get on to where you can get it from. Now, it should be available now, or if not, imminently from Amazon, and the price is $16.99. Unsure as yet as to what the price of the colour version is going to be. It's also available electronically um, for Kindle, etc., for $4.99. Um, that version will be colour, and obviously you'll be able to, to look at it on your uh, phone, uh, tablet, etc., etc. Now, like I said before, I've never ever read or um, reviewed a, a, a book um, on the ZX Spectrum before. I really, really, really enjoyed this book. I even had some bloke on the train the other day on the way to Liverpool Street clock me reading it and he wanted to have a flick through it, which I allowed, but then snatched it back off him. So definitely um, get the book, um, especially if you're into your books about the Spectrum and its history, because it really, really is good. And it's also really, really nice to see the perspective of someone who was involved um, in the scene way back in the day. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, please, please, please take time to join in the discussions. Okay, thanks ever so much. Take care. Goodbye.